in today's video the simplest way of um, raising your frequency of experiencing the higher dimensions of you the higher identities of you so that's uh, that simple thing I want to talk about and share about in this video so I'll see you in a bit one two or three or four no more anger for you anymore don't be boiling inside drop the dream of Bonnie and Clyde no need to wish you conquered El Toro just decide to bake the couch potato if you have been blessed to hear the ultimate and you have a real hard time to understand it I welcome you all with love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. So, Swamiji shared with us many times now, uh, at least within the last two years, he did emphasize a lot more on that. And uh, what is the simplest thing that you can do so that you can grasp the higher truths faster and have the cognitive shift that you need in order to leave these uh, to live these truths and um, and raise yourself and experience uh, a version of you, an identity of you which you uh, are not perhaps used to experience. Um, again, Swamiji uh, recently shared about the fourteen identities we carry. Uh, we have fourteen chakras, fourteen planes of existence, and we have an identity in each one of them. Uh, from the deep sleep, which is the lowest identity, and the highest identity, which is uh, Paramashiva, the Paramashivoam space uh, in Kailasa. So the purpose is obviously to raise ourselves towards Kailasa, towards the experience of Paramashivoam, the realization of Paramashivoam. And this identity is always within us, that Paramashivoam identity is always there. But uh, we need to break patterns, limiting patterns, in order to um, align and associate ourselves with that identity more and more until we uh, we go full out into that identity and operate from that identity alone because it is uh, obviously the most powerful one. So uh, what is that simple thing? Well, yeah guys, food. It's food. So not only food, um, dropping the food. So Swamiji mentioned and, and we're going to see a small clips in a few moments about the importance of the stomach when it comes to enlightenment, when it comes to realizing your Paramashivoham. Um, the stomach and the brain also. I recently, Swamiji shared that every time we consume solid food, the brain gets busy. In the digestion process, the brain gets busy. And when our brain is busy digesting, uh, we have less awareness in order to attend the other things that we do. And the digestion is much longer than what we think. It's not just the time where we eat, but all the hours after that. So uh, when our brain is obviously busy, less awareness, then we are not as efficient and we don't make proper decisions. We, are not ha we don't have the same awareness in the other activities that we perform after the meal and therefore, you know, create... Uh, situations which can be avoided and can make our life easier when we have that clarity of mind and that focus uh, because the brain is simply available a hundred percent so Swamiji shared like the food pattern is a huge pattern for humans for humans uh, and especially today we got brainwashed to the idea that we need three meals a day now when this this brainwashing started I don't know but definitely it is true that we're like, okay, I need my meals. If I don't have my meals, I can't function. This belief is very strong uh, in, in, in all of us. And, uh, but it is not a reality. It is not, uh, it is not a fact. Actually, the meals are actually um, reducing the frequency at which we exist. And it binds us also. You would have been caught in a situation where, you know, you have to do something, but you're hungry. And the hunger takes over and that's it. Nothing can be done. Hunger is priority and you can't focus. Emotions go all over the place. Thoughts go all over the place. I need my food, you know. So it's an addiction also, kind of. And um, Swamiji did share that uh, also that we have associated food to, to anger. 
um, because anger sits in the stomach. So when you have that stomach ache, we were told that that stomach ache means that you are hungry, but actually it's not true. As per your yogis in the yogi tradition, Swamji was sharing that yogis will tell you that hunger is experienced in the throat. By a hunger means like when the body needs energy. When the body needs, needs energy, it will be experienced in the throat area, not in the stomach area. Whatever is experienced in the stomach area is anger related uh, stuff. So when you have this stomach thing, anger is uh, there in your inner space, whether you're aware of it or not, and you dump food on it, so like that, that eating habit reinforces that anger pattern and we get caught into a vicious cycle where that anger keeps being repressed and all that and it never leaves and that energy is stuck inside of us and it creates uh, various problems. So, Swamiji, three, four days back now, Swamiji told us that one thing we can do is to, to detox uh, ourselves is to eat ginger water or whatever consume ginger in whatever form we can uh, it helps to cleanse the liver and uh, one of the side effects is regaining sight because when there's excess of fat in the liver sight goes down so when Swamji said that um, I decided to yeah to obviously implement it so I started to drink that and I can say that it's been four days now or I say three days and a half where I have not eaten any food and not only food I have not even drank nourishing drinks um, I've only been living on hot water and ginger and maple syrup basically so and I'm not drinking that much I mean I do drink um, I don't know maybe three times a bottle which is like maybe 700 millimeters and uh, I, I decided to be authentic with my hunger it means I don't want to eat until I'm hungry and uh, because I realized in the past few months that many times I'm not hungry, but I just go and eat. And I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever, you know, I'll just go and eat. It's okay. For I, I would I would justify in various ways. But but then this, this idea of like hunger, hunger experienced in the throat has been sitting inside of me. And actually, I have never experienced hunger because every time I ate in my entire life, it was never from the throat area experience. It was always a belly area experience. So I decided I want to figure out what is hunger. I want to be authentic with my hunger. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, it's been four days and I'm, I haven't felt hunger yet, uh, which is great, but it's a little bit uh, also shaking, uh, shakening, I don't know if that's a word, but uh, because I realize that sometimes I'm just like, oh, I want to have food and I'm just like, and then I just listen, like authentic listening within myself. And I'm just listening to my stomach and say, am I hungry? And the answer is no, I'm not hungry. So I'm like, then we'll avoid food. So like that, it's been happening for four days now. And uh, it's great uh, in various ways. And uh, basically what I want to share with you in this video is I, I would like to inspire you to, uh, to experience that uh, in whatever way uh, whatever way uh, you feel comfortable with. So before I continue sharing this, let's have the short clip or few short clips of Swamiji uh, sharing about the hunger and the stomach. If you feel I have a stamina, strength to digest all this kind of hate speech, love fair, everything. Of course, I think even people who have enmity towards me non-controversially accept that I have a stamina to withstand any of this kind of abuses, attacks. Listen. If you feel I have that stamina, if you want to know the secret of that stamina, I'll tell you simple, very simple, too simple. Stop eating. Whenever life need to be digested, stop dumping food in the tummy. Understand, life is not digested in the head. Life is digested in the stomach. Learn the truth. 
life is created in the stomach sustained in the stomach only thought currents are experienced in the brain strategies are done in the brain but life itself is digested in the stomach whenever whenever you are needed to digest life happening around you just stop dumping food in your stomach i strongly recommend these two items castor oil harita ki powder if you have strength and you don't bother about your tongue taste and all that even add neem juice i am not saying you should drink liters and liters just 100 ml neem juice neem leaf make it as juice you can dilute it into half a liter water no problem just from morning till night three four sip understand same way castor oil three four teaspoon maybe morning one teaspoon night when you before going to sleep one teaspoon please be very clear your experiences about life is as real as the solid food you eat don't think the life happening around you are just mental psychological and the food in your plate is solid physical no both are in same reality when you are needed to digest that life happening around you stop dumping food on your stomach understand the jataragni in your navel in your manipuraga jataragni in your manipuraga digests life and food when the jataragni is dumped overloaded that is when when the jataragni is not able to finish complete its responsibility you feel depression depression is nothing but jataragni overloaded so yes so i'm just clearly shared the importance of maintaining the stomach clean for various reasons in order to uh, conquer life in order to overcome problems in order to manifest powers in order to manifest enlightenment now um dropping solid food might not be easy initially uh you need to have you know certain inspiration and certain self drive and a will persistence because you might go through ups and downs in the process and perhaps some different forms of support might be required for you to maintain that decision because the food pattern is a very strong pattern i mean it can be broken rather quickly but you know that uh, ferociousness with yourself is required in order to uh to just you know to just decide to break through this pattern So um so as you were sharing even if you do something over 6 months so first thing first is drop a so see the as per what I um cognize of this whole process there's different steps obviously dropping the meat is the first step if you're eating meat that's the first thing you have to get rid of for various reasons but meat is not helping you at all in in all levels and uh, even the, yeah so meat Uh, uh meat is the first level of of detox that needs to uh, happen then uh, after removing the meat reducing the meals so i'm just saying work towards one solid meal a day the rest of the time you can mix make juices and uh, and just detox and give yourself a period of 6 months perhaps for you to have the detox happen successfully and uh, for the body to adapt and uh, without going through crazy ups and downs so um whatever is required but hold the intention of dropping solid food and to raise the body beyond the state of solid food i personally have been 
um, drinking, uh, I went through different phases, not necessarily in order, but mixing veg vegetable soup with vegetables, mixing it together. So having a kind of a slightly solid mix of vegetables. At some points also I had rice, I was mixing rice in it. So that was like a thick kind of mashed potato like substance. Uh, again with soup and vegetables and rice and uh, and then yeah and then recently I just dropped everything <laughs> I'm waiting for I'm waiting to be hungry I am waiting to be hungry I want to experience hunger authentic hunger not the thing in the stomach which we consider as hunger but the hunger in the throat if you have I, I personally right I mean as of now I think because I've been kind of on liquids for quite some time even though they were not pure liquids but still that uh, experience in the stomach is not happening much to me. Uh, it might happen to you. One thing that hap when I w when it when it was happening to me, one thing that I would highly recommend is instead of eating, obviously, um, have haritaki powder. Haritaki powder within a few minutes it will remove this kind of weird feeling in the stomach and it will cleanse it, obviously. So that's how I used to do. When I used to have this stomach kind of wanting the uneasiness in the stomach. I would have haritaki powder and wait. I would not eat when that experience is there. I would wait for the experience to be gone and then I would eat. So that was a few weeks back and months back. But now, uh, yeah, but now since four days, I'm waiting to be hungry. So yes, so this video, I wanted to share and inspire you to really consider of going beyond the solid food and, uh, and experiencing what your body really needs. We have we were given a lot of information by doctors, by this and that, but uh, it's clearly not true because I'm not following any of these and, uh, and I'm very much alive. Actually, I'm not, this time, I'm like, I'm not even physically weak. I'm able to do the weight training and all that that I do on a regular basis. I'm physically active uh, very much uh, in that sign, means that body strength and like doing pull-ups and stuff like that, like I'm able to do, not only I'm able to do, I am performing better than before. It means that obviously the training happens, so you build it up. But I'm saying that the building up process is continuously happening. So, um, so definitely, uh, I technically don't have the nutrients I'm supposed to have, but the body is uh, very much well functioning, and also the sleep is very less. Uh, it's a lot easier. Also, manifest powers. Obviously, uh, manifesting powers is very important. Uh, I mean, dropping the food is important to facilitate this to for us to reach the space where we enter in oneness with Swamiji and start to manifesting powers. So, yeah, I want to, uh, if you have any comments, drop them down below. Really inspiring you, uh, inviting you to join this uh, thought current of dropping the solid food slowly by slowly, going organic also. So first is dropping the meat, then is going organic and then going to, uh, you know, less and less uh, solid food, more drink-like, and then going towards uh, just pure liquid-like, means no, no form of residues inside. And then, uh, and then yeah, see where it leads you. But definitely, uh, it is very helpful on the spiritual path. It is very helpful in order to, uh, to handle ourselves also. Um, I did go through through periods where I, was, I had like intense energy inside the body, like intense heat, it was like crazy. But I just sat and unclutched and just allowed that heat to happen. And uh, you know, after a few hours it went away. And so these experiences were there. Very energizing experiences actually because, and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's these, that, that heat experience happened I think two days back after two days of just liquids or one day and a half of just liquid. So you might have these experiences, but you don't panic. You just sit and clutch. Of course, if you really feel something is off, then you, you know, you adjust. You don't go all crazy fanatic on it. So you obviously were responsible of the, you're responsible of the decision you make. So uh, don't make stupid decisions. Listen to yourself and kind of, you know, we, we have to rediscover uh, how to listen to ourselves authentically not as per what we were taught because a lot of things is fear-based right oh i was told that oh my god if i don't do it i might have a problem i don't want to have a problem so i won't do it so the, this kind of thought these kinds of logics uh should be uh put aside 
and uh, let's experience authentic listening with our body. So uh, it is very important to have a healthy body, clean body, detoxed body in order to uh, experience the higher identities uh, that we have but that we don't necessarily tap into. So that being said, uh, thank you again for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment below, uh, share your experiences if you have been on a liquid diet and all like that. Of course, Nirahara Samyama is always available. You can check the website, I'll put the link in the description below, bfoodfree.org. You can have a lot of information, Swamji has talked about it a lot. And uh, I'll put the links of Swamji's full discourses also below. So, uh, yeah guys, so inviting you to explore this. Give yourself time if you feel like, oh my God, it's too much, it's overwhelming. Give yourself time, but move towards it. Have that will persistence towards manifesting that. So thank you for watching. Nityananda. Listen, if your anger is as vast as the world And it's hard to conceal it with pearls Take this powder, it'll make you swirl Haritaki, Haritaki Haritaki is my secret little tip for you This powder is all you have to do One, two, or three, or four No more anger for you anymore Don't be boiling inside Drop the dream of Bonnie and Clyde No need to wish you conquered El Toro Just decide to bake the couch potato Listen if you feel dull inside This powder will bring you back to life Increase the oxygen inside of your body And remove the toxins from your tummy